When Dave Hydash discovered swimming holes, he was all in. Now retired, Hydash was a hospital administrator in Connecticut when he stumbled upon an old, out-of-print guide to Vermont swimming holes. I went to my first one in the New Haven River, and that was it. From that point forward, that was the beginning of this whole swimming hole adventure. Hydash ended up on a multi-year swimming hole spree, producing two books on these secret spots. It was just pure excitement. It's kind of like finding something that you didn't know that you were looking for for your whole life. No surprise, Hydash jumps at the chance to share his insider's knowledge, which leads us to a winding road in the woods outside North Conway. The first sign we're getting close to a wild swimming hole, cars pulled off at a random spot on the side of the road. This is the Swift River. We're going to go down to a swimming hole called Little Eddy, just downstream from Big Eddy. Oh, well, <laughs> they didn't skimp on the naming, that's for sure. Nope. Little Eddy features a small sandy beach, perfect for kids and other small creatures. A mix of fast flowing and calm water. The fun part here is the water flows that way, the eddy current brings you back up this way. Uh. Some favor the hot seat method of entry, but we opt to go with the flow. Okay, this is our launch point. And off we go. <laughs> it's fun no matter how many times you do it. It is, it's great. <laughs> Next up, a swimming hole that comes loaded with extras. It's appealing because it's got a covered bridge. It's one of the few in New England that have a waterfall below the covered bridge. There's a little uh, natural water slide, very, very few of those in New England, and you can slide down and, and it's a lot of fun. Greg Parsons is author of New England Waterfalls, many of which just happen to spill into swimming holes. We meet up at Swift Water Falls in the town of Bath. In the swimming hole, it's one of the best swimming holes in all of the White Mountains, if not the number one swimming hole in the White Mountains. A little rain cuts our visit short, so we decide to tool our way into town, the village of Bath, where we cross one of the oldest covered bridges in the state. We've been on the hunt for hidden treasure, secret swimming holes long known only to locals. And then there are places like Diana's Bath, absolutely spectacular, but perhaps the worst kept secret in the whites. It's packed every day. It's like this every day. It's easy to see why. Diana's Baths is an all-natural outdoor water park, a complex tumble of falls, slides, and pools, the perfect spot to chill out on a hot summer day. But popularity has brought problems, namely too many cars parked up and down West Side Road in Conway. Probably a mile on each side. So we're looking at 400 cars or so. Jim Innes of the U.S. Forest Service tells us the lot now has parking attendance on weekends and the town strictly enforces parking restrictions on the road. And actually, right now, with the coronavirus pandemic going on, we're seeing more people than ever getting outside. And it's wonderful, but it's a little overwhelming. Uh, you know, so we're just trying to do the best we can and, and, and serve the public the best we can, given the numbers, you know, it's, it's a challenge. It's so pretty, and parking isn't the only problem at mm. Diana's Baths. With so many visitors coming in, trash has also been a problem. It has been, and actually residents at a nearby condo complex have gotten together, and they go down and they help clean it up down there. But it is a reminder to swimmers, always carry in, carry out good for anyone heading into the woods or a remote spot. All right, coming up, finding lost treasures.